Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Alright, let's take care of this Toad King, but before that... I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Alright. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Synergy materia... Allows an ally to follow leader's attack command. Okay. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Wait, you're not looking for the key to the graveyard gate, are you? Well, it's your lucky day. Our local hero swiped it from some public security jerks. She gave it to Margie, so I'm guessing he's selling it for medals now. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't happen to have a key to a graveyard, do you? Of course! The Emporium has everything, Kubo. Okay, I don't have... Merry Moogle Day, Kubo. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? All right. Let's go. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Try me. <laughs> it's over. That it? Yes, I got it. <laughs> Let's go. Antidote. Where is my Mughal medal, man? All right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Leave this to me. I don't think so. I'd keep my distance if I were you. <laughs> nice. And we're safe. The Toad King. Going in. Sorry, but we're in rush. I got your number. Finish this. I see you. Buckle up. 
Never in doubt. Ooh. Yes. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it. Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much. Here. This is for you, the treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. All right. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh. If only. Easier said than done. Mm -hmm. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> All right. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them care for them love them that even if we're not actually related we're still a family a real family in all the ways that matter if i can do that for them then well then maybe i'm making this world a better place i know you are my predecessor taught me everything i know i just took up his torch and ran with it i guess uh not that i'm anything close to what he was uh -huh. biggs is one of a kind Oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. Alright. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. Hmm. All right. But don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Cause I command a very good salary. Alright. Let's go and finish those quests. And I need the graveyard key also, right? Uh, wait a second. He didn't give us another battle intel, right? Yeah, yeah. He should give us more, so I know what to be done. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Okay, maybe he will give us a later. Okay. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. Uh, uh. Oh, Let's hey, play Whack-A-Box. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. 
We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. I wanna become strong just like you. Elixir Crescent Moonchan, a spectral cogwheel. Yes. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add your score, and once the timer reaches zero. Okay. Hitting blue boxes rapidly filled. Okay. All right. Let's do this. No holding back. Brace yourself. Let's do this. Brace yourself. Bring it. No holding back. I see you. All right. I see you. Try me. Any time now. Here we go. I see you. Sorry. Brace yourself. I see you. No holding back. Let's get this over with. All right. I see you. Any time now. I see you. Yes. Bring it. Here we go. Sorry. Yes. Let's do this. I see you. Here we go. Any time now. So long. No holding back. I see you. Here we go. Any time now. I see you. Try me. Any time now. All right, all right. No holding back. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before. See, pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Okay, let's see what I got. Uh, okay. I mean, it's okay, the nail bat. I don't need the disorder. Ah, oh, this is perfect for edit. Spectral cogwheel. And... I got my Mughal medal, so... Hey, you don't happen to have a key to a grave? Of course! The Emporium has everything for you. All right. Thanks, you guys! I've got a whole mountain of Mughal medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Mughal, You'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgar love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's all your right. way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. 
So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic Koopa? Heh! <laughs> Next time, keep your plans yeah. to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. All right. Okay, so where are we going next? Ah, this one, right? Paying respects. The Angel of Slums. Let's talk to the Angel of Slum first. Did you get my new weapon or not? Heard you've taken out your fair share of monsters. Nah. Got what you need to stay safe? They cross the line. Come on. So they tell me Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? Uh -huh. She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it uh -huh. mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you. Merc of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I made a promise to. It's always a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones from the Leaf House. Like a ray of sunshine. Good to see you again, Ray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Huh. Meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. Uh -huh. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? I thought we'd put those days of so, war and any news? behind us. Have you tried Look talking to Mireille at all? Let us move on. She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in the Mireille? The town gossip? Huh. I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird Magic. had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at lookout point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. 
It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Look out point. Got it. I'll check it out right now. Uh-huh. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. <laughs> the plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Alright. I mean... I'm not gonna use the... Nail Bat, but... Just learn the ability, I guess, is fine. Let's do a try. Silver stuff is okay, right? Okay. All right. I wish I could have helped build the plate back then. Yeah, me too. Did you know? And we will go and finish out paying respect, right? Yeah, let's go there. Eric, drop by anytime. Hey, you gotta be that mer. Sure, hope not. Mm. One of my friends told me that this hot Da na na na. Yeah. Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. I see you. You're done. Any time now. One more shot. 
This is the bomb. You're mine. Tell him! Serious. Any last words? Must be it. Hey, you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. Uh. Yeah, sure. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just We're give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Uh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? All right. <sighs> And chakra. Was it the chakra that I was using? Yeah. First strike, straight first block. I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Talk to that guy. Uh, we still have three minutes. I think we can complete this one. Yeah, let's go. They talk about wanting justice and all that. I've heard there's so much. My lights have been on. Got any spare machine parts? Did I just? Oh, do you think this means enough? One of my friends told me that. Da 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 da. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Enough. Get him! It's over. Do that! What? That's All right. over. Let's go! Ah, this guy. Let's go! Do it. Here goes. Huh? Shit. This one's Bring for it. you. 
I don't have lightning. Tagging out. My turn. One more. <laughs> Did I? Uh. <laughs> All right. I forgot to take the lightning. Wow. Your love and grace. You've got this. I got this. Yeah. My ear. Yeah. Shit. There. I see you. Keep it together. We've got to get through this. Somebody help me out here! Let's do this! That was me. Bang! Yeah! No holding back. Yeah! 
I'm waiting. Come on. Enough of your dead. I'm wide awake now. Ah. Okay then. Guess we should look around. <laughs> the guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel, a warning. <sighs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's ha. pocket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. I Am suppose, I right? yeah. Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Alright. Took a while, but let's wrap things up we here. We probably ought to call it a day. Exactly. It's getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Alright, I'll give you I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.